Hey nerdies, it's Kathleen Ems here, and today I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite Korean snacks. So, number five on my list is conch snacks. These are one of those kind of strange snacks that are oddly addicting. This is a bar food. You'll sometimes see this at like nori bongs, which are karaoke bars or other types of bars. You'll see this given to you as like service sometimes with your drinks or whatever. You'll get this for free. And it basically, it kind of tastes like cereal. It kind of tastes like frosted flakes but it's shaped like a little conch and it has little sesame seeds on it. This is so good. It's like, it's the sesame seeds I think that make it taste so good. Um, and this has like this sticky coating. I don't know if it's honey or what it is, but it's just very easy to just keep shoving this into your mouth because they're just really addicting. It's kind of like popcorn, you just kind of Bob in your mouth, it's really good. Number four on my list is Pepito. Pepito is like Pocky. If you've ever had Pocky, this is basically the same thing. This is just the Korean version. There are so many different flavors of Pepito. Um, in the States, it's easy to find like chocolate flavored Pocky, but finding the other flavors is a little bit harder. These come in so many different flavors. There's just, the, there's the nude kind, which is just like the biscuit. And then there's the um, almond kind, which is one of my favorites. But my ultimate favorite is definitely the double dipped kind, which is like white chocolate and then dipped in white chocolate and then dipped in dark chocolate and it's so good. But I could only find this kind, so I decided to go with this kind. And this one, as you see, has almonds and chocolate on it. Mmm, so good. So number three on my list, I can't decide if I want it to be Kanchu or Maichu. They're totally different types of snacks, but I'll just go over both of them. So Kanchu is like a kid snack. This is for babies basically, but I am in love with it. It's It has a very Pocky-esque kind of coating and then it's filled with chocolate. So it's like a reverse Pepito almost and it's much softer. So, I know they make versions of this in Japan, I think, with like Hello Kitty on it. So, as you see, it's like a biscuit, kind of like Pepito. And then when you bite inside, there's like a little bit of chocolate in it. And then there's Maichu, which is a taffy kind of treat. It's a little bit different. And I got the peach flavor, which is one of my favorites. So it's basically like a taffy. It's a little harder than a taffy. It takes you like a little while to eat it. Actually, it's more like Starburst, really. It's like Starburst, but in my opinion, it tastes less artificial than Starburst. It has more of like, it has more like a real flavor than Starburst. Like this actually tastes like peach to me. So number two on my list is Korean Cheetos. Korean Cheetos are so freaking good. They're very different, very different than Western Cheetos. This is like, I think this is like the spicy sweet flavor. And they also have a barbecue flavor that's really good. But this one's my favorite. And the reason why I really like this flavor is it's a little bit sweet, like most Korean <laughs> things are. I don't know why they always make their chips, like potato chips and stuff sweet. It's sometimes really weird, but I think this has just the right amount of sweetness. And um, it's very garlicky too, which is very Korean, like. Okay, let's open these Cheetos. I don't know why I keep rambling. But, mmm. So this is artificial goodness. It's like that same corn chip base that Cheetos has. And it has just a little tiny bit of flavor. It's not like super overwhelming, like American Cheetos are. American Cheetos have a lot more flavor on them. But this has just the right amount of flavor. It's a little bit of sweet, a little bit of saltiness, and it just tastes so Korean. I don't know another way to explain it, but. This is so good. 
Number one on my list is Salyakwa. I think I'm saying that right. Um, this says on the label, mini Salyakwa. So mini is little tiny, tiny Salyakwa. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Um, if any of you speak Korean, please correct me in the comment section how I'm supposed to pronounce this. I'm just learning, so. Um, but the first time I tried this was on Chuseok because this is typically given to people as a gift during Korean holidays, especially Chuseok. It's a rice cake and the only way I can describe it to you if you haven't had it yet is that it tastes like a donut. Um, I, <laughs> it's just, every time I give it to someone, they're like, wow, this tastes just like a donut, except it doesn't. It tastes like the consistency is a little different, but it has that fried, sweetness to it. Um, they are little rice cakes that come in these kind of flower shapes and they're always in this shape. That's how I'm able to identify them. And if I break it apart, you can see this one is a little firm. It's better when it's soft. Yeah, you can't really see that well, but if you look closely, you can see like the honey just kind of sticking everything together. Um, it has like a honey type of flavor and when you bite into it, it just tastes like a donut and it's so good. I have to say, this is my favorite Korean snack. Every time I see it, I'm just, I'm in love with this. It's so freaking good. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that yummy video. Um, in the spirit of Korean snacks, I am going to finish this video by eating something that was on my Korean bucket list, and that's bundegi. And <laughs> let's get a close look at this. So if that looks disgusting, if it looks like cockroaches, that's because it is. Um, it's silkworm pupa, which is, or pupa, I don't know, how do I say pupa? It is really popular here in Korea. I wouldn't say popular, it's popular with the older people. Um, I'm pretty sure most young people would not eat this, but before I came here, my dad sent me a bunch of emails when I told him I was going to move to Korea. He sent me a bunch of emails and articles about how this is popular in Korea, and he said that if I go to Korea that I have to eat lots of this. So I told him that when I go to Korea that I will try it because I'm an adventurous soul and I will try new things even if they are weird and disgusting. And this is definitely going to be disgusting. Um, I'm not looking forward to this, but I want to do this to cross it off my bucket list. And if you are easily grossed out, you can finish the video here and not watch the rest. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this. <sighs> Shit, I have a... Um, a little swig of soju because I'm going to need to wash this down with something that will clear my palate. Oh God. I'm just not going to think about it. I'm going to open it. I'm going to pop it in my mouth. I'm going to go ahead and open this. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Let's go ahead. Oh, it smells really bad. You guys. Oh, Okay, I'm just gonna take one. I'm not gonna think about what it is. I can't, oh, it smells so bad. It smells so bad, you guys. Oh. The smell, dude, the smell, like. It's, it's, oh, it smells so bad. Okay, I'm just gonna take one. I'm gonna take one, I'm gonna eat it. Okay, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. smell was the worst part. It wasn't, the taste wasn't absolutely, I don't want to think about it again. Okay, so the taste wasn't absolutely horrible. It was the smell and it was the, cr the crunch. Like the outside of it is really crunchy 
and the inside it like gushed it like the insides of the pupa just like it just, oh it just it just like I bit into it and there was this crunch and then the insides exploded in my mouth and I wanted to swallow it whole but but uh well I hope you guys enjoyed that I should go.